y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine. Today I'm filming an old school kind of YouTube video. I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag and showing you guys my Marc Jacobs DTM snapshot bag. A little background about why I even bought this bag. I feel like I've had my eye on this for probably like a couple years now. I've just seen them like at department stores when I would walk by and I'm a fan of any kind of structured bag. So you can kind of see that this bag is very like, you know, obviously it's a rectangle. It's not flimsy. It's very structured all around. And it has this really cool thick strap, which I thought was very unique. And I think that's why they call it like their camera bag. And I am a photographer. So when I saw it was called the camera bag, I was like, oh my God, it's made for me. Also, another thing about me is that I prefer big bags. Like I've always carried around really big totes and purses and everything like that. So for this to be like my first designer bag, I don't even know if I would consider this designer because in my mind, designer bags are like in the thousands range and the price point of this bag is around $325 to $295. Um, so I think the prices vary depending on the color you get. So the color of this is actually khaki and I bought it on Amazon, which was like kind of weird at first, but for some reason, this specific color was only found on Amazon at the time. I think I just saw it on Nordstrom. So I'm gonna link this color in the description box. I had a trip planned for California and you know, I love to shop for vacations and like get things ahead of time. I don't know why, cause I feel like a lot of people like to shop on vacation, but I want to wear my stuff on vacation so I wanted to get like a nicer bag for this vacation and just like something that I could throw all my stuff in and I was really really into fanny packs at the time and this strap is actually adjustable so right now I have it at this length right here but if I wanted to make it a fanny pack I could literally wear it like this I really just love the versatility of this bag so I ended up purchasing it and like I said I did buy it on Amazon but it actually shipped from Shopbop so like on Amazon it was the Shopbop's kind of like storefront so obviously it was brand new beautiful packaged well so, so nothing was wrong with it especially because I was a little sketched out buying it from Amazon but let's get into what's in this bag and what it all can hold because it does look a little bit small and I'm gonna be honest and just tell you guys straight up that it was a lot smaller when I actually got it in person and the thought definitely ran through my head like should I return it is it gonna be big enough but I'm very happy that I kept it so let's open up the front zipper just have my everyday things in here and the whole purse right now is very stuffed it doesn't like look like it's overflowing but there's a lot in here um so we have my keys <laughs> that's my key fob and then my car key and then i have a little wallet in here that <laughs> everything's kind of just like a mess in my purse you're probably wondering how can you be a mess in this little tiny purse but there's ways <laughs> there's this advil sticking out of my wallet i don't even know where that came from so we have my wallet right here it's from charles and keith and i am just such a lazy person that i put all my credit cards like in this big pocket right here and obviously there's literally card slots but i don't use them i don't know why um and then we have some just like random cash and receipts um oh we have <laughs> a smush little protein bar didn't know that was in there maybe that's a good thing i'm cleaning out my purse right now um we have a mask for safe measures this is like really just worn out i feel like i need to get a new one um, we actually have a real, real like business card because I went to the domain this weekend and I was actually looking for a new designer bag. Well, I'm not really wanting to buy it like right now, but I am going to Italy early this year. So I wanted to possibly buy another designer bag, but this one, I want it to be a lot bigger than this bag. I want it to be like more of an everyday, like not a tote bag, but just like an everyday like bag like this big. And I was really looking at like Celine bags because like I said, I really like a structured moment. If I'm being honest, I'm not really familiar with all the designer bags just because I'm not really buying that every day. So I don't really look at it every day. But if you guys know a great structured bag, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, I was just kind of like looking around at the real real. And then <laughs> we have a lip liner. This is actually one of my favorite lip liners probably ever it's cork by mac and i'll do a little swatch for you guys actually it's the most perfect brown color especially if you guys have a similar skin tone to me i love pairing it with a lighter brown lipstick or a lighter pink lipstick and it just looks so good and then i have all this random change in here which i feel like i never have change 
but I think I must have like paid with cash somewhere and they gave me a buttload of change. So that is all I had in this front compartment and there's no pockets in this one. So we will move on to the next compartment. This one's definitely a lot more squished in there. We'll start with all my lip products because for some reason I just need to be carrying around like a hundred at a time or whatever can fit in there. So first we have the Summer Fridays lip balm and I feel like this packaging is so annoying and they actually switched their packaging after I got this one. I was like, cool, awesome. I really like the formula of this, but the product literally like squeezes out the side and then leaves such a big mess. I don't even know why I'm carrying this in my purse right now because I don't want it to get all gross in there. But also I have a portable charger. This is a must because it actually has the MagSafe or even just like the magnetic wireless charging. And that means I don't have to have more room for like a whole cord for my iPhone. Even though if you wanted to use a cord for this, you could. We've tried this battery pack on my boyfriend's phone and he doesn't have the mag safe and it's kind of annoying because it kind of like slides off so you definitely have to have your phone like on a table like resting on it but with my phone it's like mag safe compatible and it's amazing i personally can't use it with my case so that's like the only con because i don't have a mag safe compatible case but i love how thin this is and this is a lifesaver especially when you know you're just chilling the whole day or you're out on the town the whole day and then you actually end up going out at night and i hate not having like a fully charged phone when i'm about to go out like i don't know why it just like freaks me out so this has been my saving grace and i'll link it down below you can get it on amazon next we have a little sephora gift card that i got for my birthday from my friend i've not used it yet and my birthday was in november so i need to go to sephora asap like there's so many things i want but every time i'm at the mall i'm just like not in the mood to go into sephora and i'm just like i want to go when i'm in the mood so i can like actually have fun and like you know go ham and like buy all these products and all of that kind of stuff we got more lip products i can do some swatches of these too um okay so this is like one of my new favorite products actually i've been using it for months now i got it in a pr package so long ago but just decided to use this color i never used to be a pink lip gal but i really like pairing this lip color with a brown lip liner do a little swatch it kind of dries a little bit darker but i think that these two are such a good pair these two are both from charlotte tilbury this is the foxy brown lip liner because of course i need two brown lip liners in my purse at all times and then this is catwalking um it's kind of like i don't even know how to describe this color i want to say it's a brown but like also now i'm looking at it and it's definitely not a brown so let me swatch it for you guys now that I'm looking at them like side by side, I feel like the two pink shades definitely look a lot alike. By the way, I don't even think I said what this was. This is the NYX Lingerie XXL in the color Turn On. Now I'm gonna swatch the Boxy Brown lip liner. Why do all of these colors literally look the same? These two brown lip liners, same. These two lip colors, same. And the thing is, like, it's never gonna stop. Every time I go into Sephora, I always need a new brow lip liner, even though they're not even finished yet. They're not even close to being done yet. So you know what? I vow to myself to chill with the lip products because I have a lot and they're all the same freaking color. What is this? Last but certainly not least, we have Black Day Pills. You guys didn't know I'm lactose intolerant. Kind of sucks, but you know, it's life. And I'm really just thankful that there are solutions like this out here to help us people with this issue um, because I cannot stay away from dairy. I will never be able to stay away from dairy. I found out that I was lactose intolerant in fifth grade and started crying because I was a milk baby. Like I loved to drink straight up milk. I loved, you know, all the milk products. I loved dairy, but now obviously I have my lactate milk and I do my dairy free yogurt. But other than that, like I still drink milkshakes. I eat ice cream, like pasta sauce, like all of that kind of stuff, especially when we go out to eat. I know we're planning to go out after, or if I just don't want to feel like shit, I have to take two of these. I have the off brand one. It's like Kirkland. I have like a stack of them like this big so this is the compartment we were just in and you can see that it has this little pocket and i honestly wish it wasn't there because it's just kind of like in the way sometimes also one comment i want to make about this purse is the zippers are low-key kind of annoying because sometimes you know obviously if i stuff my purse to the brim like this zippers are going to be stuck a little bit so sometimes i have to like really just like tug on them thank god they're like really really high quality zippers like i really don't think they'll ever break on me but they can be very annoying and as you can see one zipper is on this side and then the other zipper is on this side and then having those two compartments like i never know where my wallet is especially when i'm going out and trying to find my id and i'm like the next person in line i'm just like searching and unzipping and i'm just like where's my wallet so 
That is one of the cons about getting this purse, but honestly, I haven't had really any regrets buying this. I literally use it like every single day when I'm going out or just doing everyday errands. And I didn't spend like an arm and a leg on this purse. I mean, $300 is definitely a lot, so don't get me wrong, but it's not like I spent like $1,000 on this purse. And I don't even know if I'm ready for like that big of a purchase or like at least just having the responsibility of taking care of a designer bag. So we will see, but I'm still interested to like look into another just bigger bag, um, especially because I love taking my vlog camera places and I would love to like put it in a bag and just, you know, look chic while I'm doing it. I also forgot to show you guys the back of the bag. It has this little slot right here. I barely use it. I think I use it at the airport sometimes. Wait, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is from Halloween. We went to like a horror house. Um, so I just stuff like random like pieces of paper, boarding pass or anything like that. Like I said, I've been eyeing this purse for years now. And whenever I did make the decision to buy it, I came back from my trip and I actually work with college grads a lot where I'll just go and photograph college events. And I've been seeing so many UT at Austin girls having this exact snapshot bag it might not be this exact color because they have a lot of like funky colors or at least just like funkier straps i definitely wanted to keep it neutral but i thought it was so cool to see all these girls like carrying the same purse because i was like i literally thought it was like out of style or no one even knew about this bag so i definitely think it's like on trend right now and honestly i see why because it is truly the perfect everyday bag So that wraps up this video and I think what I'm going to do is create a whole blog post so that you guys can see all the different kind of varieties of this snapshot bag. There are so many different colors and a lot of places that you can actually purchase this bag. Like I said, you can purchase it on Amazon, Nordstrom, probably so many other places. So I thought it would just be easier for you guys to shop that way to see it all visually laid out so you can just click it and shop from there. So I will have the link to that blog post down below, but I will link just like some neutral colors in the description box as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would love it if you guys subscribed. I do a lot of long aesthetic vlogs and fashion hauls. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.